everyone welcome back to another sims 4 video today we're back with another mod review and this mod literally came out yesterday and i believe it is still in the kind of early access phase of its releasement so it is still on patreon you do have to pay for this mod but i figured i would do this to kind of create some hype around it because honestly this is one of the coolest mods i've seen in a little bit so basically it is a hotel mod where your sims can actually go off and have a proper hotel stay I know with Island Living, we were kind of hoping to get the hotel system back. I think in The Sims 3 or 2 it was when they had like an island pack come out. They had a hotel where you could like manage it, run it, you could stay there. This one is like that, except you just stay there. So you can choose up to like one day or five days on how long you want to stay. There's like three different suites that you can choose from. So let's hop into this mod review and see how this mod works. But yes, it, it's a hotel. You can finally stay at a hotel in The Sims. Okay, so we are in game as you can see. And basically I did want to point out that this mod literally came out yesterday. So it is fairly new, very new. It is still like a little baby in the mod world, but it is super cool to play with. And there's a couple things to note before downloading this mod that you will need the Zerbu's venue changes mod list or mod like to make sure the mod works because you have to set it to like a hotel type, like lot type for it to work. And then the other thing that you need is the XML injector for the app to appear. I'll link those in the description as well as where to download the mod. But on her page, if you, if you read it, it will give you a full description of what you all need to make sure this mod works but those are the two required mods on the list she also does give um the lots that you can download um, that i'll be using today so you can also make your own hotels she goes through a description on how exactly to make it so it's functional but i'm not a builder so i just took the mod the the lot off of the download but anyways there are two ways to access the hotel. You can either travel to the hotel itself or you can go to your phone icon here and you should get this little paradise hotel and resort is what the, what the hotel is called. And you can um, book a suite. You can also ask for like breakfast and get bicycles and have your maid or repair hotel services come. And then you can book another suite to invite a friend or a family member. The only downside to this is they're only allowed to stay there for 24 hours. And it's like a hundred simoleons, which isn't bad. I just wish that they could stay like the full, you could either like kind of like um, when you invite them on vacation in The Sims or you can invite them and then like kick them out after a little bit. But then again, the mod is still fresh and you know, in future updates, she might change it, but it, it is it, that that is um you can book it for a sim to come and stay with you or or not it's really up to you but anyways we're gonna go ahead and book a suite and there's three different types of suites in the game and i'm gonna go with the best one for this mod review and basically it says which suite would you like to book just know the eden suite costs 150 simoleons per night the the I don't even know how to say that word the carousel suite costs 225 simoleons per night and our Royal Penthouse suite costs $500 per night. We're gonna go with the Royal Penthouse, but I will show you all the suites because you're able to see them. You just can't like enter them because you don't have the little, you know, your key card. You know, when you go to a hotel, you can't just walk into someone's hotel room. Um, so we'll go with this Royal Penthouse suite and then it should bring up the number of days. You can stay one, two, three, or four nights. We're gonna stay one night just cause I'm not gonna be playing for four days in The Sims. Anyways, we'll go ahead and click on that and then it'll charge you right there and we'll need to travel to the hotel. So we'll go and travel really quickly. I don't know, what, what am I doing? We'll go ahead and travel to this hotel. So this is the hotel and honestly, it's pretty cool. And I put it in Sulani because you know, it's a beach town. I'm getting hotel vibes from Sulani. Kind of upset they didn't put a hotel in Island Living, but it is what it is. Now we have a mod for it, but this hotel is so well built. I've, I very much enjoy it. This is your, you know, royal um, penthouse like suite. Then you've got like the second floor, which is like that other suite that we were talking about, the carousel. And then like this one is your, um, I actually don't know what that one is, but <laughs> anyways, they have like hotels for like the end. They have rooms for like the NPCs and they also have rooms for your Sims. So we will go ahead and show you guys what this hotel looks like. So you've got like your, you know, waiting area, the lobby. You can also like, if you click over here, like on this little thing right here, you can also book a suite as well. So if you didn't want to book it through the phone, 
You could, you know, pretend like you're checking in. I just like to do it through the phone because everything's, you know, through the phone these days. You got this gym as well as a personal trainer that is there to help coach you, which is super nice. You've got this little bar and like um, restaurant place here and there will be a comedian that comes out as well through the night. We can check that out later on. And then upstairs, when we go upstairs, this is like the suite. So here, I believe there should be a suite somewhere here so like you'll see right here it says door only npc hotel guests so if we're not at npc we cannot get in the room as well as um over here it's an npc room as well but if we go over here this is the eden suite and you'll see that this is available to um our characters now i can't go in here because we don't have this room but it's basically this little bed right here this little um like balcony with the lawn chair and like your bathroom. And then over here, it is another NPC like suite, I guess. I don't really know what to call it. Anyways, if we go upstairs, you'll see that there should be, I believe this is like another, no, that is an NPC. This is the carousel suite right here. And um, this is like the suite with like a bigger bedroom. I think there should be like two bedrooms in here. Yeah, there's two beds. So there's like a twin, like a kid's room. And then like the main room with the lawn chairs, a hot tub, a little bit more room than the Eden suite. And then when you go upstairs, this is the, the royal like suite. You've got a bedroom right here, a bathroom. Like this is like, you know, an apartment basically. And then you've got like a little balcony out here, but you also got this big balcony that overlooks like the water with your hot tub. Now you don't have to put this lot in Sulani. I just did it because it gives like, it, it literally is called Paradise Hotel and Resort. So it only felt, right to put it in island living like sumani but anyways this is the room we got and um i'll have her i'll have her actually go up in here and then you can also see as well that they'll have like the neon signs for like the royal penthouse so you know and it will tell you that it is you, know, you have access to it now the thing to note is we picked one day so once this icon goes away that says one it has been booked you can see the little timer for 24 hours once that disappears you no longer have access to the room we'll go up up here to our room. It's pretty self-explanatory, the mod, but it is still super fun to play with because it, you know, gives your Sims, you know, kind of like another, you know, way for gameplay. Like, you know, if they're traveling or something like that, you can have like multiple hotels in your world and just have them stay, you know, at one of the hotels that you make. Now I would be, I probably wouldn't book it through the phone because you might have to go to that hotel to book it if you know what I'm talking about. Cause if you do it through the phone, they might, you know, have you book it here. Anyways, we can, it's like 1124. So that's like perfect time for breakfast. And we'll go ahead and ask for breakfast. And the super nice feature about this that I love so much is that it's like, it acts as, you know, room service, but it goes directly into your inventory. So like say, you know, you bought a coffee and then maybe like some oatmeal and you hit the check mark it goes directly into your sims inventory so you don't gotta wait for like someone to deliver it to you because sometimes sims can be you know a little they take longer than usual kind of annoying but it is what it is but i did want to show you guys you know they've got like this whole they've got like a pool as well that you can go to um with like a little like loungers and you have your um lounge chairs and stuff like that your sims will also get this a uh, little like thing here saying that you have access to the Royal Penthouse suite. If you have like the access to like the Eden suite or the carousel suite, it'll have like different stars. So like the Eden suite will be one star. The carousel suite will be two stars and this will be three stars. But you can also do a little bit more on this hotel app as well. Like you can get bicycles as well. Like if you wanted to, you know, go around the island, you could buy a bicycle. And then you can also like, if something breaks in your hotel room, you can have a maid or repair services come up. So you you can have, you know, your hotel room cleaned or you can have the repair service come up and fix something because we know Sims, they like to break stuff and um, you, you might need that on site, to be honest, with when dealing with Sims. But I want to see if maybe the, yeah, so here we go. We've got the bar right here that's, you know, set up. You can order your drinks. We'll go ahead and have her. I always like to see what their favorite drinks are. So we're going to have her order a favorite drink. But also throughout, like, towards, like, dinner time, they should have, like, food prepared out here. And now this doesn't really act as a, like a restaurant when I was playing with it. I didn't really have like a hostess or anything come out. It's just kind of like, you know, a sitting area where your Sims can like get some food, enjoy, you know, the outside with the comedian, you know. The comedians normally come at night though. So, and I don't know where my Sim went. Hold on. 
She should, oh, she's paw. Oh, it's because the bartender left. They left, I can no longer get my drink. But here we go, here's a comedian out here. We can listen to the performance. But also they have this area as well, like downstairs, they've got like this whole like yoga thing. So like if you sim wanted to come down and do some yoga, they can do that as well, which is pretty cool. And now she's ordered her drink, 21 simoleons. What did you order? I don't know what she got, but it's some fruity drink. So I'll allow it. But we're just, you know, we're just, you know, enjoying our thing. She can go to the gym as well. I don't know where the trainer is for the gym. He should be in there. He or she should be in there. And I don't see them at all. So maybe if I, maybe if my sim walks in here, they'll come over. Or maybe it's like after hours because it is like 5.30 in the sims. But still, I, I expect a little bit more. He was in here yesterday when I was playing. They were like in there. It was everyone. Every sim was in the gym at like 10 o'clock at night. So who knows? But I will say it's super cool though too that they allowed like NPCs to stay in here because it allows for the hotel to actually feel like a proper hotel. I mean granted you can't really go in the rooms but they are locked away from your rooms as well. So don't worry about an NPC like walking into your hotel room. I do not think they should be able to enter and if they do um, then we should be able to enter into their rooms. But as, oh wait, oh, I thought that was mine. I was about to say, no way is there a whole group of people in my hotel room right now, but that's not mine. That's another one. I'm glad to know that they're having fun up here. I wish I was invited, but it's okay. Okay, she's done with her workout now. I'm not really sure where else to go. We've watched the comedian show. Maybe we can go to the pool for a bit. Maybe she can relax on the loungers and stuff. Now, again, you can create your own hotels as well. I, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, she's got a whole mod Patreon page where she explains the um like how to build the hotel to make sure it is functional. So if you if you said you didn't really like this one and wanted a new one to build, you can completely design it however you want with however many amenities you want in it. You could make a hotel room without any NPCs in it if you wanted to. It's totally up to you. And um, it is still in Patreon, so you do have to pay for this mod to get it, but it should be out publicly in the next couple of weeks. So so I, I think, I can't remember what the public release date was. Um, I'm not sure exactly when it's coming out, but I know it should be coming out in like the next you know, a few weeks, maybe a month from now, but it is very fun to play with. And again, it adds that gameplay into your game so that your Sims have a little bit more to do. And I just love it because sometimes I don't wanna do the whole rental thing because sometimes those rental prices are insane. Like one of the things I put down in my world, it was like a thousand dollars per night. Whereas I can get a Royal penthouse for $500 a night. You know, that seems like a steal to me, but Anyways, we should probably go back into our room because it is getting a little late. The only thing that I will say again about this mod is you know how when your Sims go to sleep, you can like super speed it and it doesn't take that long. Well, because this is technically an active lot, it, it's like, it doesn't do super speed because not every Sim is asleep. It's not really a downfall because it gives you that time away from your Sims before you have to, oh, wait a minute, who is who is this? It's a hotel guest who's in my room. Or wait, am I in the right room? I don't think I'm in the right, I was not in the right room. Never mind. Never mind. I will say it does get kind of confusing deciphering which is your side and which is the NPC side because sometimes I'll like click on the bed. I'm like, why aren't they going? But yeah, that's pretty much it to the mod review itself. I quite enjoy it. It was a lot of fun to play with yesterday when I was playing with it. And um, you also can have a lot of storylines with it too. Maybe you got a sim that's, you know, cheating. I, I don't want to bring in the bad side of the sims, but I do know some of y'all like to make your sims cheat. So you can have a whole storyline of maybe, you know, they're going renting a hotel hotel room for the night, you you book another sim to come over for 24 hours, you know, your sims, your other sims will never, will never know, you know, what's going on. But if we book, I think if we book, you know, another sim over, maybe this guy, you, it says uh, invitation sent, your friend or family member can stay at our hotel for 24 hours, then your suite will be locked for this sim. Thank you for understanding security is our priority. Yes, indeed. I, I'm very thankful that security is, you know, a number one priority here at this hotel room. But they should be able to have access to your room and they'll be able to walk in and walk out and kind of do what they, whatever they want to do. I don't know, I've never met that. They're not that close, but they're close enough to where I can invite him, but I'm not really sure where he is. And to be honest, I, I don't really care. I just wanted to show you that that's like the screen and how to do it. Pretty self-explanatory, but um, remember 24 hours and then they're no longer allowed in your hotel room. So if you did like, if you were staying here for like four nights, I think you're only able to invite one sim. I could be wrong on that. So don't quote me on that, but it's still a nice little addition to be able to at least invite them over. 
But if you wanted to do like a proper family vacation, you might want to do the rental, um, the rental places and not the hotel. So that's pretty much all to the mod review. I know it wasn't as like intense as some of the other mod reviews that I've done, but again, this mod just came out like yesterday. So I'm sure, you know, in the future, there'll be more features to come with the mod, but still it is a great game, to, uh, is a great mod to add into your gameplay, you know, with whatever storylines you want to make, it's totally up to you, but this is just, you know, so cool. When I saw it, when it was, you know, in progress, you know, when she was making the mod, I was like, this is literally the coolest thing ever. One of the coolest mods in the Sims 4 mod market, in my opinion, but um, with that, I will end the video here. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and comment your favorite part of the video, and would you put this mod into your gameplay? And uh, again, do not forget to download the venue changes in the XML injector. I, for me, I always forget to put those into my game. So I'm just reminding you guys that if it's not working, make sure you have the venue changes and the XML injector in your game for the little phone app to appear on your screen. But with that being said, I will see you all on Wednesday. And if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.